Hello guys, my name is Andy. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here. Um, today we're going to do another all that, but we're gonna do more of a natural look. Um, like I've said before, it's very pretty. Um, you know, I don't know if you saw my last video, but if you didn't, um, I also got the wine and only, and I have decided that um, I like it. However, it's more of like a supplemental palette. Like I can't see, I can't do a whole look with this because like this, this and this are mattes. All the rest of these are metals. That, well, that one and that one might be more of a like really fine glitter, but I just don't, I haven't messed with it yet. Just looking at it though, like, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna mess with it a little bit and maybe, just maybe, um, I'll figure out a look for it, but I really like to mix it with some, you know, more muted tones. So we'll see. I have my window open and you can hear the ice cream truck. Stand by. Okay. I had to shut the window. Um, so I got a new GoPro, so I'm filming on something differently. So it might be a little awkward at first because I'm used to being able, when I'm filming with my phone, I'm used to be able to, being able to see what I'm doing and now I can't, but I'm going to get a monitor so that I can see what I'm doing because I don't know. I mean, it's already a shit show. Okay. I, I know that my videos are already a shit show, but at least you can see everything. So I don't know. Um, I do need to get a monitor though, because I need to see what I'm doing because I'm lost. I'm lost without being able to see what I'm doing, but I'm really excited that I got a GoPro. Really excited. So we're going to, here's my makeup brushes. So we're going to go ahead and start. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more of a, um, a little bit more of a muted, a muted look, a little more natural. Um, I've done some crazy stuff the last couple times. And of course, can't find, there's one, br there's one brush that I really like for my transition color. So I'm going to go into this cha-cha and I'm just going to do um, my transition color, my crease. a mirror right here so that I can see what I'm doing. So I hope everybody had a really good week. Um, tell me something that happened to you this week that you're happy about or just something. Um, I didn't have a very, um, you know what? I didn't have a very, uh, eventful week. Oh yeah, that's better. I didn't have a very eventful week. Um, I just uh, worked basically eBay or I should say reselling, not really eBay because it's everything. It's eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, a, um, Facebook Marketplace. I sell on all of that. So um, what else did we do? Hmm. Anthony's been taking off Fridays. Actually, he's been, he's going to be off every Friday until like Labor Day or something. He gets a ton of vacation and we don't ever go on vacation. We went like 2017 maybe we went. And uh, it was fun. We went to Louisiana, which is kind of my home away from home, even though I've like Prior to 2013, I'd never been there, but I read a series of books. You know, I'm a reader. I read a series of books that were um, based in New Iberia, Louisiana. And I just fell in love with it. I know it's fiction. I know. I know. But um, I just really fell in love with it. So I really wanted to go there. And then my friend moved there. Yeah, I'm gonna try a different brush because I'm not I'm not loving that brush. Um, something that I 
my last video um, when I was doing the more of a fan fancy, more of a fancy look with this palette. Um, I think it was my eyeshadow primer, my eye primer, that it was just a mess. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then I'm going to go into this wink wink. Wink wink. And I'm just going to do that on my outer corners. So yeah, I can't really think of anything else that happened that was worth... Oh, my daughter's boyfriend's birthday party was on Friday, so we did do that. I'll take, I'm going to blend that into the middle a little bit. feeling this. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to do my entire lid with this come through right here. Maybe that'll help. Something else I've noticed, I really need to up my skincare game. Like I was doing really well. Um, I use a lot of the ordinary products and I was doing really well with my regimen. And then, I don't know, I, maybe I just got lazy. I don't know. But I can tell my eyelids are very <laughs> movable. There's a lot of loose skin there. You know what? I'm gonna take a small, like a crease brush, and I'm going to go back into this wink wink, and I'm gonna make it a little darker on my crease. I don't know if it's just this formula because I don't have any other problems with my other ColourPop palettes, but it skips. Like you can see lines from, I mean, I know I have loose skin in my eyelids, but it's just, uh, it's a, it's a freaking hot mess is what it is. I don't know if I really like this palette or not, man. clips in the other room so I'm gonna have to deal with those okay we're going to do this uncuffed on my brow bone Yeah, it's like the formula is not smooth. Like it does not, it does not go on smoothly. It's, it's very like dry. Does that make sense? I'm not, I'm thinking I don't really care for this palette very much. The colors are absolutely beautiful. I really love the colors. All right. Um, I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with this. Risque right here on my lid. Mm. 
Oh, that's made up. That's better. I think my next video, um, I did get my Spoiled Lips palette, um, the Nevermore. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. That makes me a little happier. I'm wondering if I should, I know this is more of a natural look, but I'm wondering if I should do this silhouette in my like outer corners or in my crease or something just to give it some dimension. I don't, I'm not happy with this palette at no. all. I'm just not. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm going to do this BB girl right here in my inner corner, tear duct. Yeah, I, I used this. Um, I'm trying to remember where we went. But I used it and it might have been the birthday party. And I wasn't happy with it then either. I just, I feel like it gets very muddy. I'm, and my brushes are clean, y'all. Um, I feel like it gets very muddy and I don't know, man. Let me just do. A little bit of outer. Oh, I do like that. This is silhouette. 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 I think part of the problem is the fact that my eyelids are just, they don't have the elasticity that they used to and um, I think that's affecting how my eyeshadow is going on. I'm just going to blend that toward the middle a little bit. I like that better. I do like that better. It's not as natural. It's not as natural as I what I what I really wanted this look to be. I am gonna blend it out a little bit. Okay, so I'm thinking, save your money. Don't buy this. It's so pretty. It really is. I love the colors. Don't buy it. Because I really honestly have had nothing but trouble with it, honestly. And that's really unfortunate. I'm going to take that silhouette and I'm going to go a little bit. Underneath my eyes. You know it always looks better once you get your liner and your mascara and your you know, brows done and all of that. It's okay. I'm I'm happier with it than I was at first. Um, I am going to keep this one and only, but like I said, supplemental. Like I'll use like maybe the Menage a Moi or something else and just kind of use these. Or you know what I might do? I have not used it yet. I haven't swatched it or anything. I might give it to my best friend. These are her colors. This middle... This middle red and that one beside it. Oh yeah, she would rock the hell out of that. So I might do that. Oh yeah, I might do that. That makes me happy. So where are my liners? I'm gonna do my liners and my mascara. Oh, I just moved my shit. Um. a bunch of brow stuff. Where's my... Okay, I'm going to do my liner. Okay. Um, I did replenish my Lash Stiletto. And then I got this Air Volume. I'd seen a lot of YouTubers use it. So... I'm going to use it. I need a mirror. I'm going to use it. Um, I haven't used it yet. But I always use this for length. I 
So I did see, uh, it's been it's been a little while, but I've seen these um, ColourPop, like the 5 p.m. palettes, advertised a lot lately on Facebook and um, Instagram. If you watch Jim, Jen Phelps, she did a whole video on um, like if you have these ColourPop palettes, then you don't need those ColourPop palettes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I'm so glad I watched it. Because I was about to buy two of them. And I'm like, I have... One of them um, had the same or very similar colors as the Stone Cold Fox palette. And the other one had the same ish colors as maybe that's taupe and then another one um i think it was the menage a moi had some of like the, the glitter and stuff like that what are you doing what are you doing oh well goodness what what is all that what is that? What is that noise that you made? I don't know if you guys can see her or not. <laughs> this is the Air Volume by L'Oreal. Air Volume, yeah, Air Volume. You know, I'm a little extra. I need like lashes. I just want, without using fake lashes. I have fake lashes. I honestly don't have any place to wear them, but I sure do have them. I have actually several. I have the uh, the magnetic ones that are the top and the bottom, and then I have the magnetic ones that you use the eyeliner, and then I have just the regular glue kind. I'm going to do my brows, and I think I'm going to use the Stone Cold Fox palette. And use the obsidian. I really like this for my brows. It's really pretty. You know, I don't go all crazy on my brows. I just color them in. Because my natural color of hair is very, very ash. So my eyebrows are very, very ash. I should have colored them the last time I colored my hair. I almost did a video on that while I colored my hair, but I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really big on promoting people coloring their own hair. Um, I did hair for 20 years and I'm able to get professional color from the, you know, place, not Sally's, but like it's a professional. So I do use professional color. I don't use box color. Um, let's do, let's do lips. Lips. I always feel like I have, I do the same exact color, same exact lip color every single time. Um, I'm gonna go, hmm. I'm probably gonna use the same exact lip color that I always do. Cause that's what I do. I just like it. It's just very me. Oh, what is this? This is the Maybelline Color Sensational. Um, the color is Magnetic Mauve. So let me know if you have made, if you have bought any new palettes and if you like them and what they are. 
I've been watching um, Kristen at Beauty Beatdown a lot. And she really, really has found some really, has bought some really neat palettes. Um, well, one of them was the Nevermore. Mm, I love that. This is the Ink Crayon, Superstay Ink Crayon and Lead the Way. I think this is a little too pink for me, but it matches my lip liner. I see a lot of people that don't wear lip liner. I wear lip liner because I'm older and I'm a former smoker. So I have lines. I have some very fine lines in my lips. To me, to me, this look looks a lot like the menage a moi that I did, the two menage a moi that I did, and then last week's. It does. Okay, so the second time using that, all that palette, I would say don't buy it. I think the formula, I've used two other ColourPop palettes on this channel. And none of them felt that way. They usually go on very smoothly. These did not go on smoothly. These went on like dry. They were like dry. Maybe if I wet my brush, because obviously I'm not gonna send it back. I've already used it. I'm not gonna send it back. Um, which I thought about for a minute sending back the wine and only and the sommelier because the two sommelier, um, the little single eyeshadows, one of them, you know, came broken. I don't know. So it's pretty. I don't feel like it's any different than the menage. Moi. Let's, let's look, let's look at this. That's what we need to do. Okay, so we have, I'm going to do them all three. We have the Menage a Moi, the All That, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. The Menage a Moi, the All That, and a Wine and Only. There are differences, there are differences, but don't they kind of look the same? Like... I don't know. Oh, my nose itches. I'm sorry. I mean, the, I guess there's more of a, this is the menage a moi. And I guess there's more like some cool, like berry tones and these up here, these white, these really light ones. And then this has more, I don't know, like almost like a warm. These are a little on the, like almost warm. These are, these are super cool. Like up here, this is super cool. Those are super cool. There's some warmth in there, I guess. And then this one, I don't know. It's got it's got all these. Does it have any matte? It has three matte shades. This one, this one, and this one. And I think those are really pretty. And I will use them with other palettes. I probably will not do a whole look on just this because I don't feel like there's enough. There's only one light color, and it's a metal. And I don't do metals on, like, I only, I'm almost 50, okay? I only do, I don't do metals on, like, my entire eye. I don't. So, um, thanks for joining me today and listening to me complain about that palette. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm very disappointed. I was so excited to get it, and then I'm really disappointed in it. So, I don't know. It's whatever. So, um, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Um, and then, if you want, go follow me on Instagram. It's Andy underscore does underscore stuff. Andy does stuff. Because I'm Andy. And I do stuff. And, um, yeah. 
So hopefully the next palette that we try out or the next thing we do works out a little better than today. I would really like that. So until next time, thanks for joining me.